Oh my god, you are taking your lunch. We have no fry that is younger than this one. Hey guys, it's another beautiful day once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today we are going to talk about how we will prepare a homemade food for our fish. Many of our followers have asked Dexter, how do we feed our fish that will grow so fast? We don't have Dapnia, we don't have BBS, we don't have this tube effects worm. So what else can we do to our goldfish, to our carp, to our tetras, mollies, and even the goldfish? Well, it is very important that we have to give all this kind of food but if we don't have this we have the alternative and that is the hard-boiled egg well in front of me are 10 hard-boiled eggs that I have prepared earlier And these 10 hard-boiled eggs are eggs of chicken. You can also use the quail eggs or the duck eggs as long as it is fresh. So we will remove the shell now. After this, we will segregate the egg yolk from egg white. Wow, it's very hot. These are just newly cooked. We will remove all this shell. It's very hot. And you can also soak this with water so that you can remove the shell so easily. I am doing this for how many years now? Because this is one of the most safe food for our fish. Well, I am not recommending this to our Oscar, to our arowana fish, because there are other alternative food for our arowanas. So guys, I am showing this because I wanted to help those who are having problems with live food. I've been doing this how many years already and it proves that this is one of the safest food for our fish. It's just a matter of the preparation, you know. How to prepare this one is the issue because whenever this is done, we have to be careful that the, the fly will not be able to lay their eggs when we are drying this up. Okay, I have so many fly outside. Now, we need to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. In my previous video, I have showed you the actual feeding of this, but I gave it directly to our fish. Meaning I did not anymore make a video on how to dry this up. Before we're gonna dry this up, we will crush them. Please refrain from putting water on it. So we have to crush this. This is it. You can safely remove this now. This is the result now of what we have just done. That's a lot of eggs. So now we will put this under the heat of the sun. Okay, come on. This is it. Egg yolks are easy to crush. Okay. Very delicious. Okay, so we will dry this up. Come on. And maybe you will ask Dexter, why do you have to dry this up when you can give this directly? It will not last for how many days if we are not going to dry this up? 
So the purpose is for this to last for 10 days. We will wait a couple of hours and this will be mixed with another food. So this is it. We have dried this up and you will see that the egg yolks and the egg whites are placed in separate plates. And the answer now to your query, how we are going to grow or fry or beta fish our goldfish? Well, I would advise that we are going to feed the five days old fish fry of betas or even our goldfish with this kind of food and we have just to do that like this we have to get the tiniest particles of our egg yolk so this is now the best food for our baby fish and what about our breeders well of course the breeders can also eat this one but i would suggest that we will mix this with other food like flakes and the pellet but for the baby i would suggest that we will give this one the pure egg yolk for our baby the egg white are not yet that dry so they this need a lot of exposure to the sun but we cannot feed this to the fry because the fry don't need this the fry only need this egg yolk because this contains high protein so this is it we have segregated a very tiny egg yolks and you can feed this to our fish I suggest that we will give this moderately because if we will give plenty then chances are they can also spoil the water which will affect the fry and eventually cause the death of your fry so you will give just a small amount of it so the process is we are going to dry it up and then what we are gonna do with this one we will feed this to the bigger fish but of course my principle is to mix this with other food like the flakes or even pellets so we will mix this one with this German flakes okay and we will blend this one of course if you don't have German flakes you can use also your pellet So guys, we have mixed now our egg yolk with the flakes and this is the result now and they have to be placed again under the heat of the sun. So what we gonna do with this one? Of course, this egg white can also be used for our mollies and for the bigger fish. If we have bigger fish like the koi, the breeder koi, you can also feed this one but in moderate. We can feed this during the morning and then supplement the feeding with our pellet or even the flakes. So this is it. We have to feed this now to our fish and we will see if they will like this one. And this one also. They have smelled the flavor. Wow, that's very delicious. You see this one? Oh my god, you are taking your lunch very late in the afternoon. Yeah, you see this one? Wow, these are the baby. These are not the tiny fish that I'm referring to, but we can also feed this one because we have no fry that is younger than this one. This one is for our Japanese koi. Come on, Japanese koi. Come on, come on. Wow, as soon as they smell this, they will really pluck and love to eat our special food for them. Come on. That's crazy. You see that? 
and you are going to expect that your fish will really spawn their eggs if you would feed this the breeder goldfish so the problem of live food such as many of you have expressed concern about where can I get my tubifex worm where can I get my duck now you don't have to be worried about that anymore because you can use this alternative food give only small amount of food because fish keepers have the the tendency to give more than what they can consume and that's a big problem if this food will not be consumed and will rotten in the tank of course it will spoil the water so this is it I hope that I have made your day and I have also answered all the queries about what kind of food that you are going to give if you don't have live food I hope I have encouraged you to do it yourself and that's the thing that we can share with you today only here at Dexter's World! <laughs>